Konnichiwa! And hello. Welcome to Ripping Tins. Welcome to Ripping Tins. Yet another episode's gone by. Yeah. I swear to God, this is like a day job now. Almost, almost. Episode 5 we're up to. 5, holy shit. Halfway through the first season. Remember that band, 5? I do. 5 will make you get down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, That's the only bit I know. Oh, yeah. But um, if you use your own band's name in a song that will Skid Row did it. Yeah. It's Park Avenue I'm, leads to Skid Row. I'm pretty sure most of 5 songs were about 5. Yeah, well, that's what being in a boy band's about. It's about you. Yeah, I guess. They don't even get pooned. They just don't care. Nah. They're always singing about birthday cake and themselves. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, uh, birthday cake, I have a feeling like a lot of those things, like normally they're sexual innuendos. Yeah. But with boy bands, it's birthday cake innuendos. Yeah, innuendos. basically, yeah. Innuendos. Yeah. Innuendos. 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 Yeah, in your endos. In your endos, son. Yeah. I, um, so, let's touch on something real quickly, Doyle. Yeah. Subscribe to our friggin' channel. Yeah. Don't I mean, like the Facebook page. Put all this shit up. Oh, yeah, ripping to you. Thank you all. We love you all. Thank you all. And then not subscribe. This is a YouTube channel. We, we need subscriptions. This is how it works. We don't get paid unless you fucking subscribe. Exactly. How can we provide you comedy on a weekly basis, fortnightly, whatever? Whatever we're doing. On a basis. And if you are just going to not subscribe to it. Yeah. It feels like the effort is on our part, and that's how all relationships seem. Yeah. You need to be part and part, you know? That's like, right. You guys need to help us. Help us help you. Yeah, exactly. Because your lives, let's admit it, like, you're watching us. Yeah. Just subscribe. Just do it. Tell your grandma. Yeah. Subscribe. And tell her tell her grandma. And tell her that her biscuits are great. Because you can pretty much guarantee that they are. Another thing, too, is I want to shout out to legends. That's what I'm going to do today. This is Legends Appreciation Day. Oh, yeah. All the legends that mentioned the random breath testing that was going on around our town today, because there was heaps of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I avoided all of that and drove here fine. Yeah. Without having to be pulled over and annoyed by the friggin' cops. That's right. Be Fucking boy! You know? Fuck them guys. I don't want to blow in your straw. Blow in my straw. Yeah. Which is made of my penis. So, um, what else has been going on this week, Doyle? Um, what else has been going on? Smash Mouth announced a world tour. Do they really? Nah, probably not, but um, that'd be great if they They probably did. should. What's their song they sing? All Star. Somebody wants to... Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. That's all you need to know. It's like yeah. you know that bit. Yeah. Um, not a lot else going on. Big day in the footy today. Yeah. Western Derby. Yeah. Derby, depending on where you're from. Yeah. Or Dribble. I prefer Derby. Derby. Yeah, I'm a Derby guy. Yeah, yeah. Like Jersey and Guernsey, I'm a Jersey dude. <laughs> See that? <laughs> yeah, it was both. Yeah. Mix it all up. Nigella ain't got shit. Get on my mix! Neither does Grandmaster Flash. You sure? He's pretty good. He dead? No, he's not dead. Okay. He's well and true with all life. Alright. Well, Grandmaster Flash was a great man. Not as good as the Colonel, but not as bad as Bow Wow. That's, a, that's fair. That's a good, good that's call, eh? Fair comment. I spilled beer down your chin. That's pretty good. Hey, I'm going to do it what we know normally do. I'm going to just stru- jump straight into the beer. Yeah. This week, we're drinking Damnberg by Belgium. Damnberg. Damnberg. Damn. This is Dam, D-A-M, it's from Belgium, it's beer, beer, and beer, alcohol 4.5% volume, it's just a small can. 1.2 standard drinks. And it only costs 12 peanuts for a six pack. For a six pack, that's pretty good. Not bad, eh? Yeah, that's, that's great in fact. It's won several awards. That's even cheaper than this Weed Man. Wow, Weird Man. Yeah, it's won several awards, like the African American Digest. It's on very late, but it's won several awards. Excellent. The ingredients include water, barley malt, unmalted cereals, and hops. Cereals. And that's it. That's all that's in this beer. There's fruit loops in this. Yeah. Whoa. And one cornflake. Whoa. I wish I was a Kellogg cornflake floating in a bowl. Oh, you might notice something new about me. What have you noticed? Um. Come on. Come on. you never notice. You'll never notice. You've done something with your hair? No. I'll, I'll ruin the suspense. All right. I lost a tooth. Fuck, okay. eh? Yeah, lost a tooth. It was a fair chip. I'll give the guy that. <laughs> I was talking when I should have been listening. Oh, yeah? Ducking when I should have weed. Yeah. And he fucking, he straight up took a tooth of mine. Oh, wow. But I have the tooth. Not on me, but I do but own, you, the, you, I still own the tooth. You still own that tooth? Yeah. Excellent. I feel like a tooth should be currency. Yeah. If you, well, I mean, it is. You can, kind of, you can exchange a tooth for currency as a child. Well, yeah, exactly. I've ripped the fairy off a few times. Yeah. Like, I, I used to steal my little brother's teeth in, in his sleeve. I used to get a little drill bit, and I'd just like... Oh, yeah. Just sort of... Take, take him out. 
and I just like steal his tooth. That's why he's got bad teeth now. Yeah, right. They're not actually that bad, but I made a shitload of money off laundering my brother's teeth. Laundering? Is that the word? Laundering. Laundering. Like a laundry. Laundry mat. Yeah. Laundromat. That's why it's called money laundering. Well, I did. I stole his teeth, and um, so this is my confession. <laughs> I stole your teeth, and I don't know what to do to give you part two of my confession. You like that? That's a good one. That was Usher. Yeah. Not the shitty part of Bunbury. Usher. The no, no, no. African-American um, rapper. Singer-songwriter. Singer-songwriter. He can do no wrong, apparently. Yeah, right. Every time he releases something, it's pure gold. Is it? I, well, I don't, I don't generally know what Usher does, actually, but I know that song was Confession. Yeah. And um, he was really good friends with Robbie Williams. Yeah, right. Nah. <laughs> I made it up. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I know nothing. Nothing? Nothing. But how, how good is this? Oh, super artificial racism. Yeah, there's a gong here. Yeah. You can't see it. I don't think. Can they see it? No. You can't see the... Okay, on, I broke the drum kit. Well, so you need to subscribe now to pay for Doyle's new drum kit. Yep. Make sure you subscribe. I can't stress it enough. Yeah. If you don't subscribe, we don't survive. That's basically the be all and all. And only the strong survive. I don't know why this is still up. We've already revealed the beer. Yeah. Ernie Ball Custom Gauge 10. Electric or acoustic guitar strings? 10, 10. Pattern. I read the whole packet. White. There you go. <laughs> I didn't leave anything left out on that. Hey, so there's no local band this week, but there is an Australian band. Yeah. My boy. My bro. My brother. Nick Casolini, his band, Darcy Fox, tonight are releasing their brand new spanking album yeah, right. Island. Now I've heard one or two little tracks off this and it is they're, they're going places man. Uh, Casolini is the only guy I know in the band so I'm just going to keep saying Casolini. It's a great thing to say. It sounds yeah. like a pasta. Yeah it does. It sounds like a hell pasta. Yeah, yeah. Hey do you want to come around my place and have some Casolini. What, what, what accent was that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, anyway, Casolini's a great dude. I've been on the towel with him a few times. He packs a massive towel. A thousand thread counts in the towel. That's a fine towel. But he's a breather. He's a good cunt. Oh, can I say that? Never stopped me before, have you? No. Oh, he's a good cunt. And um, nah, look it up. Darcy Fox Island is great. They're playing tonight with Bad Moon Born and I forgot the other band, but they're in Melbourne. You won't see them for like a couple of days. Just go, go check it out back in the future. And um, yeah, that's my local band for today. And they're great. Also, I need to plug my uh, European guitarist Arthur Square. He's from France. He plays a mean guitar. You would hate that I called him Arthur Square because he actually has a real last name, but it's so French I can't pronounce it. <laughs> He's a uh, guitarist for Winters when I'm in Europe. And um, check him out on Facebook. Arthur Square is his Facebook thing. I like the hammer. Yeah, it's nice. It's just framing this like quite nicely for it. Is that an MC? What now? An MC hammer. <laughs> Damn, Damn, son! <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, I love it when I tell a good dad joke, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I have illegitimate children out there because I tell such good dad jokes. Well, you do have a legitimate I have child, a legitimate so. child, but it doesn't count for all the dad I have too many dad jokes for how many kids there are. Right, right. You know what you're I mean? Saying, like, you're saying your dad joke game is too strong for only one kid. I dare anyone to come at me with a better dad joke than what I've got. Anything. How's this? A sandwich walked into a bar, right? Yeah. And he went to the bartender, Hey mate, I'll have a scotch on the rocks. And the bartender said, Sorry mate, you don't serve food here. Pretty good at it. That's a great one. So, um, also, I'd like to mention that um, the other day I got in a taxi and the taxi driver didn't want any payment when he dropped me off. I got to my house, I was like fully fucked. Like, I had drank more beer than Moses has worn shorts. And he's like, You're a beautiful girl. <laughs> and I was like, uh, What? And he's like, You're a good looking woman. And I was like, I'm not a girl, dude. He's like, Please. I was like, Well, I'm. Here's your money. He's like, I don't want your money. I want an over the pants HJ. <laughs> For those of you playing at home, an over the pants HJ is a hand job. Needless to say, it was a good taxi ride and I didn't pay anything. Well, no, that's a lie. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of weird. Does that happen often? Do women get harassed? in taxis a lot. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a woman in a taxi, so I can't Yeah, that. well, but it's not the first time, and it wasn't the last time that I've been confused for a woman. Did you see that weird dude on my Facebook? Yeah. Here's a picture of this guy. Yeah. Fine. Anyway, this guy called me darling, and like, even though I explained that I was a guy, he was still keen on yeah, he, having sex with my vagina. Yeah, he did not get it. No, he didn't understand. But um, I guess there's a compliment in there somewhere. Oh yeah, but it's still weird as fuck. I've got childbearing hips. Obviously. My that's... hips don't lie, and I'm starting to feel you all. Do they, do they know? La 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 Tell me one more time Do they not notice you kill a moustache? I don't know, I, it is pretty good at the moment yeah. If you can zoom in on this, can you zoom? Can the camera zoom? Compared to your moustache, it's quite... You know how I shave? I put powdered milk on my top lip and I let the cat lick it. Oh, yeah. That's what gets rid of moustache. Yeah, I'll, that fucking... It works. 80 grit tongue. Hey, you want 80 grit? Yeah. Wow, this is a guy that knows his sandpaper. Or emery tape, depending on what state you're wow. from. That's right. Hey, you want to check something else out? 
so good. I love the gong. I feel like I'm on red faces. <laughs> how good was that show? How, or how good was Hey Hey at Saturday? Dude, Ollie the Ostrich was way better than Pluck a Duck. Yeah? No. I didn't think so. No, that was a lie. I said that. I said that like I'm gritty. <laughs> Ollie the Ostrich is way better than Pluck a Duck. Pluck a Duck is a hero. What is with Pluck a Duck skateboarding down a hill for KFC now? I don't know, but it's sick. It's it's dope. It but makes what me does Pluck a Duck a duck have to do with KFC? Which I'm pretty sure the C stands for chicken. Yeah, but well, you know, Pluck a Duck is not a chicken or a cow. Hey, do you know in countries where SARS is a thing, they have KFF? Do they? Yeah, Kentucky Fried Fish, I think they stand for. Oh, yeah? It's a legit thing. Also, in Cairo, in Egypt, the KFC there, because yeah. everyone's deaf from, like, I guess, bombs or some shit. Not that I think Egypt is a violent place. <laughs> Insert racism <laughs> hashtag. You are super racist today. No, I'm not. I'm witty. <laughs> anyway, this uh, they, they have a hand signal, uh, sign language KFC, where you order all your food with sign language, because every employee there in Cairo is deaf. Yeah, right. Deaf that dude. Oh, yeah. Deaf shepherd's pie. They, they, they do say... Oh, you know what? In the UK, they don't do mashed potato and gravy at KFC. Uh, no, they don't do that in the US either. Yeah, You know what they do in the UK? Baked beans. At KFC? Yeah, doesn't it blow your mind? That's not right. Baked beans is not a breakfast food, nor is it an actual food of any kind. Yeah, but, you know... Um, do you eat baked beans? Occasionally. No, nah, can't do it. No? Nah? Can't do it. You know, in, in the US at KFC, they don't do... Well, they don't do potato and gravy either. No, they do brisket. No, no biscuits. Oh. Biscuits and gravy. Biscuits are what we would call scones. So hey? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Biscuits and scones. Oh no, biscuits and gravy. Scones and gravy. Scones and gravy. Yeah. yeah. Apparently yeah. it's actually pretty good, but I don't know. I, I like me potato and gravy. Scones and gravy sounds like a great title for a gay porno. Yeah? Yeah. yeah I'll give you that. What are you doing? Oh, I just finished playing golf. I'm gonna go for a beer, you keen? No, oh, no, I'm gonna go home and watch scones and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, sounds like a modern classic. Yeah, I'm just dirt, but... Yeah, so I'm not a woman, no. just to clarify. No. I don't like baked beans. Yep, cool. Scones and Gravy is a great movie. <laughs> and damn beer. Damn son is... Yeah, it's not bad, eh? Yeah. Are we going to rate this? Yeah, we're going to rate I feel like on. I always forget to rate on the that, beers. On that note, on our last reaction video, we forgot to rate this beer on camera. We rated it after once. No, you rated it two. I oh, did I? And I rated it two, so I got a four out of ten. I don't get a lay by like I wake up in the morning and realize I made if, a huge mistake. You can if you like. <laughs> we haven't put it on the wall. I was yet. like, you know that beer where you make a mistake. You're like, oh, why did I drink that? Well, that's that mistake. So I yeah. call it a one. So it's a one. Except for this chick's wicked facts, which our good pal Roxy Catalano pointed out. Yeah. She's got sweet titties. Yeah. But titties don't get points because this is about beer, it's and true. we're not sick, sexist peeps. Yeah. So one out of ten from you. Yeah. Uh, one out of five, rather. Two out. Five from me. Wow. Three out of ten. Oh man, I was gonna do the ultimate score then because I could figure that one out. <laughs> you didn't do no point nothing. <laughs> Except point break. That's good, a great movie. Great film. Not as good as Scones and Gravy, but almost, <laughs> almost as good as you know. He's burped again. I feel like this is becoming a thing. <laughs> you just keep burping in my face on every show. Yeah, well, it's just a thing that I do. And I swear that everyone is actually just watching to see that happen. Basically. And uh, just watch my face go. If it's any consolation, it's completely unintentional. When you burp in my face, I feel like my face turns into Rocky Dennis really from that just, movie Mask. It's really just the fact that we have to sit so close to each other while drinking beer, but it's just... Yeah, we don't normally sit this close <laughs> together. Like, we have our own couches at Doyle's house. Yeah. Or my stepmom, Vicky, depending on how you're keeping up with this. <laughs> hey, uh, also, we're going to do a DVD. Is it called Scones and Gravy? No. Oh, well, I wish. <laughs> Actually, it's called Scones... The show's not called Tins anymore. It's called <laughs> Scones and Gravy. <laughs> But, uh, no, 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 we're going to do a DVD. Uh, this is C episode 5. Yeah. We've decided that the season's going to be 10 episodes with a special episode of 11. Yeah. But we will be making DVDs of this. If you are interested in that and you want us to set up a GoFundMe... Oh. A GoFundMe? Should we do that? Oh, why not? Um, we'll accept coins and we'll create DVDs. Anyone who GoFunds will give you the DVD in a package, sign it, do all that shit. Send you a, whatever you need, really. Yeah. Like, I'll meet you a sweater. Yeah. But there will be a DVD of Ripping Tins. I feel the DVD is definitely going to be a thing, I think. Yeah. Uh, I can see a floor in that plan. What? Deep, no one watches DVDs? No one, no one buys DVDs. VHS? That would probably sell better. Betamax. Perfect. Betamax Bandits. That would be sick. If you can get your hands on a Betamax recorder, we will release the DVD on Betamax. And hey, so great news. Yeah? Bam Margera is back skating. I know. How good is that? It's amazing. Great. I love you, Bam. Take that out. I like <laughs> you, Bam. Thanks for making me grow up like you. Also, I zipped something in my fly. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> was it your foreskin? No, it wasn't me fory. I know that got mentioned <laughs> before, but pre-mentioned fory. No, I zipped a little bit of skin like my fupa. You know, the fat upper pussy area. I zipped a little bit of my fupa in my zip. How did you manage that? Holy fuck, man. I don't wear jocks, as you know. I'm <laughs> yeah. not a jock wearer. And I zipped that. And let me tell you, the hospital staff 3 a.m. aren't very polite. <laughs> Right, when you're sitting in the in the waiting bay with a set of peas on your crotch and they're like yeah. expecting some bullshit story and you, you 
just zip your fupa. <laughs> like, they're, they're, they're generally not not accepting of that at all, man. So just let you just to let you know, I'm dealing with that. That's why I didn't come with a local band shirt on. I'm just come from the hospital after having my zip removed from my fupa. So that's why there's no local band shirt. I, I bled all over it. It was a white shirt and um, it's got food blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do on this weekend? I noticed Hawthorne got beaten again. Yes. I won't mention who they beat last week, but don't worry about it. Who cares? They got beaten. That's yeah. important. Bit. I hope the Eagles win tonight, man. I will seriously fucking... My celebration will get me deported back to Ireland if that happens. Yeah? Yeah. What else? Come on, Doyle. I've got something. Have you? That dude that five knuckle sandwiched his missus across the <laughs> yeah. road. Yeah. What a piece of shit. Yeah, it was pretty pretty not on. If you punch a woman and you're a man, not okay. Nah, don't. Enough said about that. Yeah. However, she's an idiot for going back to him. Yeah. But we also have our own like Australian drama across the road that we just watch unfold every weekend. Yeah, it's great. All depending on whether their doll checks in or not, yeah. whether or not it's going to be rowdy. However, it got to a peak last week, and I didn't think Robbie was going to make it out of that. But he punched the fuck out of that car yeah. pretty good. He didn't smash the window though. Oh, good. That means the window was down already. So. Oh, so we know where that, where that ends up. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, don't punch ladies. Yeah. And don't punch your own car. It's and cool. ladies, don't punch me. I'm sick of it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> you know, like, it's not real fun. Getting punched in the head sucks. Like heaps. Yeah, heaps, man. Yeah. But I do deserve it a lot of the time. <laughs> Let's be honest. However. However. <laughs> you right there? Just making hell dad noises, man. Dad noises. That's something we need to touch on. You've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> Fuck, I have. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just hell old. That's what happens, man. When you get old, I think after 23, 24, the male human just starts to rot from the inside. It's got to be something like that. He just rots. And you start, like, groaning and, like, getting these noises. like, And there's, like, little ailments that you can only fix by making a noise. Like, <laughs> that's how I tickle my chest. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, that's that's how I stretch my shoulders. You are legitimately the king of dad noises. Yeah, well, I, you should see me at work. Oh, like. I don't want to. Work sucks. <laughs> it's, yeah. I know. <laughs> but um, also in the break, because we don't just sit here. We we have breaks in between shoots. Yeah. While the <laughs> director takes footage, and um, as you saw, we have a lot of people on set in the last episode. I think yeah, that was that was the last episode. Yeah, they got to sort everything out. We go outside and. Anyway, we are fucking around and I set my fucking hair on fire. Yeah. It went up quicker than a German blimp. It smells fuck. Like, it fucking stinks, eh? Hey? It smells like dead dog yeah, and like, a live cat. But, like, burning. Here's dog a dad joke. Cat, yeah? What's better than the world's cutest cat? Any dog. That's not really a dad joke. That's just a joke for someone that hates cats. I, I don't hate cats. It's just yours want to kill me. Nah. That fucking orange one yeah. tried to take my breakfast knife. Yeah. Which I believe the night before was my dinner knife. It doesn't, <laughs> it's not a specific type of knife, but it tried to take my knife. Uh, no, he was probably just trying to take the breath. What's his name, Gloria? Gilbert. Gilbert. Gilbert Grey. Gilbert Ginge. Yeah. It's a shit cat. No, it's not a shit cat. It's actually my favourite cat, which is saying something, because I was almost married to a woman called Cat. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not, a, not a joke. Great girl. Hi, Kat. The maintenance will be here next week. <laughs> also, um, we never mentioned them, and we should mention them because they're doing us great favours. LKS. LKS. The new logo that you would have seen. <laughs> this is the new logo. <laughs> Mario coins. Bring, bring, bring. Ripping tins. You'll notice that Doyle's can is in front of mine. Don't know why. Like these yeah, he, yeah <laughs> it's totally in front of me all the time. However, I'm in front of you on stage. Sometimes. You dig that? You dig that? You are the front man. Ripping tins. I am the front man. I'm also the front bum. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I was put on a milk carton once, and I'm um, like, you know when they look for children? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Because I went missing? Yeah, because you're a lost boy. But I'm, a, I'm definitely a lost boy. But um, yeah, I was on a milk carton once, yeah. and uh, they had to re-pure, which was the milk company that did it. They had to withdraw all the milk because it went sour. Because <laughs> I'm a rotten child. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> um, also, we should probably keep reviewing this beer. Yeah, we, do, we do need to get into the um, LKS presented review. LKS, beer review. Lost King Skatewear. Our boy. Yeah, our boy. They, um, they help us a lot and we appreciate them and you should appreciate them too. Absolutely. They, they make great clothing and they, they're just generally hash dudes. Yeah. They are. Uh, also, yeah, this beer has... Uh, is that a machine gun or a house? Um, it's got... What is that? Is this a schematics for a death machine? It's from Belgium. It looks like it could be, yeah. You know people in Belgium, they put on their French fries, mayonnaise. And I'm I'm not talking just a dab. I mean, they smother that shit. But that's a popular thing these days, I'm not. 
Yeah, I put mayo on my french fries. Pretty good, yeah. I don't eat french fries a lot anymore because I'm losing weight. I'm watching my figure. But when I was a fat, sweaty, fat fuck, yeah. I used now, to. Now, this also has some finger blasting. And oh, and holy fuck, it's got the shocker on there. And a crown. The barracuda. Yeah. A sheet. Is that a house? That one might be a house. A house? That's the house of the old mate that designed the death machine lives in. And a, and a crown. Yeah. And it says, carefully selected ingredients. Yeah. Um, How do you carefully select the ingredients for beer? Well, what goes in beer? Beer. Barley. Yep. Water. Barley the country. Pops. Barley water. Yeah. Fucking don't drink this, you'll be going it'll be going through you. Yeah. That's... It'll go through you like Debbie went through Dallas. Basically. Holy fuck. It's per it's premium. Is it? Uh, yeah. Yep. Is I it? felt like I said that before I knew the word was on the can. Wow. It's premium. It's not brewed under the German purity laws. No. Because but it is because it's Belgian. Yeah but it's close enough. They got the same flag reversed. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well if you didn't fucking over academic here. It's academic. Remember that show? It's academic. Yeah, great show. And Apple Cross always used to win. Apple Cross, for those of you who don't know, is the rich town in Perth. Yeah, come it's on. It's not a town, it's a suburb. A couple of my mates went to that Apple Cross school. Of course they did. <laughs> That's why you know what premium means. Yeah. It's not unleaded fuel, it's just beer. It says comp. Yeah. Like Alcohol, 4.5 volume comp. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Imported into Australia by Southern Beverages Australia, PTY, LTD, Unit 15, 20, St. Albans Road, Kingsgrove. Kingsgrove, holy shit, we used to dodge that train station so we wouldn't get bashed by the Muck and Mad Boys. Yeah? Yeah, the Muck and Mad Boys, they okay. were a gang. And yeah, we used to literally take the longest train ride we could to get to Panola so we wouldn't get bashed by the Kingsgrove Muck and Mad Boys. Yeah, right. That's a lie. Oh, well, it's not a lie. <laughs> ben Smith, if you are watching, remember that time we got punched? This show's been a lot about punch. Yeah. We should drink punch tonight. No. Oh. We'll die. Yeah, I know we'll die, but... Like it'll... An, no, like an actual death. Lao. It'll be Lao, like the country Laos. That's a Lao. Yeah, what do you even have? You don't even have horses. If you're from Laos and you're watching, <laughs> you're not watching. Do they have internet in Laos? Do they? Uh, do they? Do they have NBN in Laos? No, only Australia has NBN. No! There's other internet shows on the, on the, uh, what do you call it? The fucking, on the YouTubes. Yeah. There's other shows that are on the internet. So it can't be Australia that only has NBN. NBN is the Australian name for the network of interconnected tubes that run the internet into our homes. No! Because I've told you already, there's, um, we watch American shows, yeah. like British shows. Yeah. How, they have NBN, obviously. But they call it cable. Cable what? Internet. No, because it's cable TV. Yeah, it runs on the same cable. Is Cable Beach internet? But cable Beach is in Broome, so I don't is know. Is Broome a I sweeping know. device? I don't know if they have internet up there. Oi, speaking of Brooms, it's the new review! Check this out. It's a broom. It's an oats. It's a fucking oats. It's an oats, which was it's my nickname at Osdrill when I was an apprentice. It is an oats. Also, um, Doyle, you'll like this feature. Oh, look at this. This Wait. is the sweeping head. Sabco head. Sabco. It's a head. So this is actually like a, a modded up broom. Yeah. If you got pulled over, the cops would yellow stick at this. Almost definitely, yeah. This look at tape this. here. It's tape, yeah. This sticky tape. Nah, can't have it. Oh, it's antibacterial. Though. Oi, do this. Do me a favour on this broom. Yeah. Grab it. Yeah. Now twist it. Yeah. Broom, broom. Broom! <laughs> broom! Broom! You nearly knocked over your beer with that, mate. For the rest of the show, I'm going to have a moustache. And I'm just going to pretend like it's just on my face. I look like Doyle, but I don't have a wristwatch. Can you hear me? They can hear me behind the broom. Yeah, they can't see you, though. This broom stinks. You look really dumb. Did you yeah. not pubes with this broom? It stinks. <laughs> Why is there so many pubes on it? It's just hair, mate. Hey, if you have a broom at home, we'd love to see it. Yeah. No one has a broom. Everyone has... A made from Philippines now. Post a photo of your broom below. And comments. then make sure you go broom broom. What do you rate that broom out of 10? Well, out of 10? Yeah. Out of 10, it's a broom. I rate it a broom. It's Excellent. definitely a broom. If the cops were to see it, it would definitely get yellow yeah. though. It's a highly modified broom. It's a modified broom. Yeah. That's why it goes broom, broom, broom. Remember that when Mazda's thing was not out with Zoom? Yeah. Regard that last joke. Disregard it. Regard it and then disregard it. Take it on board, then throw it overseas. <laughs> Hey, um, Belgium. We were reviewing this. It's a great place. Yeah. I've been there. I haven't. I've been to Belgium. And, um, uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, um, my hair stinks, man. Really bad. Oh, smells like a Prius doing skids. You burped in my face again. I burped over there. Yeah, but it fucking... It was like, oh, wait a minute. I didn't go up over these nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, did you eat pizza for lunch? No. What? Yeah, another thing, we need to rate this beer. I always seem to forget to rate these beers. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I actually don't mind. I think it's good. It goes pretty good, yeah. It's got a great name. Damn, son! Damn! Yeah, I'll give it a um I'm gonna give it a 3.2. Well, actually, just because the name's so good, I'm gonna give it a four. Nothing to do with taste, flavor, tin, or just, just because the name is just name. Damn. Yeah, that's pretty sick. It's fucking dope. There we go. 7.2 out of 10. Damn. A bad little effort for the little Belgian beer. Yeah, yeah. The little guy. Yeah, the little guy. But why are all Belgian beers? Beers 
German beers, Austrian beers in small cans. I don't know. Because normally, when I was living in Europe, yes, I was once living in Europe on my gap year. No, not true. Not on my gap year, but I was living in Europe. All the beers are like, like quite tall. tall yeah. yeah, but these they go in the opposite way. I wonder if it's actually something to do with the way they import them into Australia. Well, I wonder if like before that they were like, aha, look at Australia's beer. Is that the only can you can afford? <laughs> but I just wonder that. It just seems something maniacal. Belgium's the next big stir in Europe too. You reckon? Yeah, I think they're going to exterminate something. Yeah, just like probably pancakes because they're a massive yeah, waffles and what crepes. you reckon? Just no more pancakes? Go yeah, on. no, they're going to exterminate pancakes and we're going to be like, you can't burn pancakes. And we're going to, all the forces will be called. Yeah. Yeah. Donald Trump will fucking send 50 nukes yep. to Belgium. Yep. Don't exterminate pancakes, man. Butterfly flat. The, but the butterfly are flat. <laughs> Butterfly effect. That's you. Yeah, that, that was the noise you made. That's the noise I made. I don't know. <laughs> that one too. I'm not actually Doyle's friend. I'm his carer. Not true. Not true at all. I'm actually OD's carer. Yeah, a lot of people need to care for me. Because I live by myself and I have a lot of shower curtains in my house. Take the hint. Hey, um, <laughs> also. What the fuck does the beef mean? I don't even know. Take it, take that as you will. You know, we just we just reviewed a broom. Let's not say this show hasn't really got any sort of meaning. Hey, um, fur jackets. Yeah. The ones the hood with the fur. Yeah. You're a drag. If you wear yeah. that, oh yeah, absolutely. You're definitely a absolutely. drag. White etnies, fur jacket. Yep. And shorts, guaranteed board Lower shorts. Lower than the knee. Yep. Yeah. You're a drag. Yeah. One just pay for your parking. Don't whinge when the dude puts a cross on your tire. Pay for your parking. And stop buying fucking Jack Daniels premix by the carton. And tall boy monsters and then complain you don't have enough to pay for a parking yeah, fine. Exactly. Why do you need to drink monster? Don't you have enough energy to be a fuckwit anyway? You drink a coffee, you dickhead. I hear ya. Blend 43 is cheap and it makes a lot more than one monster out of, in a tall boy can. Yeah. Also, this? No. No dice. No. Don't shuck up my bracker. No. Oh, oh, I'm starting a new campaign. <laughs> Hello, this is OD Winters. Don't shuck up my brother. A brother means brother, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I got that. Yeah. But they they already knew that. They were they've already no, started like, using it. Yeah, yeah. Monster drinkers have already started using yeah. it. Monster, mother, both, all of them. Yeah. Red Bull's fine. So still, but still, don't drink Red Bull. Yeah, don't drink energy drinks. If you don't have enough energy that you need to drink energy, go to bed. Yeah. Turn Netflix off and go to sleep. You know, like get off MSN, stop sending SMSs, and go to sleep. Yeah. That's what kids do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's still what. They MSN, do. SMS, CDMA, yep. and bloody Wiz Khalifa. Yep. That's what the kids yep. are up to these days. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Is that Wiz Khalifa? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. It's black and yellow. No, he was like, so what? We get high. So what? We get drunk. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we like to do. That's how we like to be. <laughs> Living young and wild and free. Oh, yeah. What else? Um, Wait, I'd also like to point out, a lot of people mention me, like, OD, you're putting weight on. I'm not putting weight on. This couch makes me look fat. Actually, it's the lens. The lens. Your lens makes me look fat. It's a 50 mil. I've lost 20 kilos, people. 20. I haven't put weight on. I've lost weight. Thanks for noticing by mentioning that I've put weight on <laughs> by sitting on this couch. That seems, it's a comfy couch, bro. Yeah. Where's this from? This is uh, Brooke's parents' old couch. Brooke Doyle's wife, girlfriend, mistress, couch. <laughs> She's not your couch. <laughs> this is her couch. It's, it's mum's couch. It's comfy. Her mum. Yeah. Brooke's mum. Yeah. Cool. Also, I um, can't afford the knees in my pants. Whoever made that comment <laughs> last week. I can't afford the knees in my pants. They come like this or I cut them. I don't have no knees in my pants because I'm a chimney sweep from 1864. I can't afford the knees in my pants. I just choose not to have them. You know how much oxygen you get through your knees? None. But it still feels good. It's, it still keeps you cool. And I've always said if it feels good, do it. And uh, while we're commenting on comments, uh, Kim, thanks for saying my hair looks good in a bun, but no, you cannot request hairstyles. What's a Kim? It's a chick on it. It's commenting on a photo. Is she the photo one? No, 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 no. Oh, hello photo Kim anyway. But keep it up. Your photo's rolled. Except for that one where you got me and I was like... <laughs> Oh, that's a great one. It's not we're, a good we're photo. Were the guitars out over here for some reason? Yeah, did, you know that one? Yeah, I know the, you know the photo. I actually look like Ace Frehley from Destroyer, but I'm like... <laughs> the only thing getting destroyed is the boom tank from that great face I was pulling. Yeah, yeah? No. No. No, no definitely not. Actually, I got in a massive fight that night. Did you? Yeah, not with the human. I yelled at the stars for a while. Oh, yeah. I was like, hey, stop brightening up my night. I'm in a disgruntled mood. So if you could go away and just have a black sky, that'd be great. And for some reason, I was Polynesian. Yeah. Well, whatever that accent I was. That's, yeah. Super racist. Wow, I know a lot of people that are going to want me dead after this episode. Pretty much. I'll probably get punched again. Maybe. Who knows? Darcy Fox tonight. Yeah. So excited. Wish I was there. Nick Casolini, the great man. Mm. Eats 
fucking food, that cunt. Yeah? Oh, my God. The human dump truck, man. He eats so much food, and he's slim. He's slimmer than Jack Rabbit Slim. Like, slim. All right, let's finish this beer before I admit my love for Nick Pasolini on camera. All right. Ow. You know, with a small cam, there's more in it than you think. You yeah. always think you're on your last gulp, and there's another gulp. You know what's weird, bro? What? See, this small cam. And remember, this, this small cam... Oh, mate, you're getting it on the couch. What are you doing? I was trying to get rid of it while you weren't looking. It's on the couch. I gave it three. It's in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> it's legitimately in my pockets. I'm pretty sure my phone's wrecked. Lucky I've got an older box. Anyway, what were you saying? This small can here. Yeah. Perfect So this is bigger than that. Well, duh. Look like, at it. This this feels small. Oh, this one's bigger than this one. No shit. Yeah. It's like by fucking at least 30 to 40 mil. Where are you going with this? This one feels smaller when you drink it. Oh, I go, yeah. fucking Al Gore over here. Oh, yeah, I get what you're saying. It does feel smaller. Yeah. I can't fit my fingers around it. Yeah, my <laughs> fingers. We need that. Yeah, what for? For the top 10. Wow. Beer all over me. <laughs> My hair smells and coming in here. Yeah. You literally did that to yourself. This show sucks, man. <laughs> also, I feel like not enough people saw me fall out of a trolley on the 40 minute special. I'll replay the clip now. I'm still, yeah. Here's me falling out of a trolley. Not enough people saw that, and I'm still dealing with the injuries from that. Goodbye. No, no. <laughs> Are we saying goodbye yet? Uh, do we need to cover anything else? Um, this awesome beer that we haven't Clean got skin. labeled. Clean, Clean skin. skin. Clean skin beer. Oh, yes. Man, that's all. I wish we could review this beer that we're not allowed to talk about all the time. Um, damn beer's good. Da yeah, damn beer is... Doesn't suck. Yeah, for 12 bucks, I'm impressed. Yeah, highly impressed. Thanks, mate. See me do that? I did. That was what I should have done if it was a bad beer. That was my carpet for the beer on now. Yeah, your, your carpet's good. No, your carpet's three. <laughs> your carpet's three. <laughs> um, LKS, thanks again, Lost King Skate, for sponsoring the show. They love us, we love them. I don't know why I keep saying that. I haven't got another catchphrase for them. We need one. Um, Lost King Skatewear, they don't sell bread. Jack Mazow, come up with a tagline for us and we'll use it in the show. Thanks, Jack, the guy who owns LKS. He also owns a Long Dong. I'm sure he does. Long dong skateboards. You nearly knocked that beer off. Welcome to LKS Skatewear. Yeah. Um, look at all that beers on the back there. They're coming along nicely. They're great. We need to build a shelf. Whoa, to you, Earth and Sea. Yeah, we do. We need a, we need a shelf. Because mm. this show has a shelf life. It does. Ten episodes will be the season. The eleventh episode will be too naughty for TV, and then we'll start a new season. One day. With yeah, we'll see oh, how it goes. Probably like a week afterwards, but probably. subscribe! fuck's sake yes please just subscribe click on the subscribe button it'll be up around there ish somewhere if you subscribe if we get a hundred subscribers i'll wear a bear suit we need a thousand subscribers all right that's like the first goal on youtube that's when you get like i don't know something changes anyway i need a thousand subscribers Clear. fucking subscribe if dad subscribes to people magazine just subscribe to us i might have doesn't do that he just buys them the shop your dad rules though is there anyone i haven't offended this episode beetroots are a legitimate fruit there you go. <laughs> no, they're a vegetable. There. I've been, I offended all vegetable people as well. And crab people. <laughs> crab sticks taste good. There you go. Oh, that one's true. Crab sticks aren't crab. Oh, they're seafood highlighter. They're plastic. They're made of Matchbox 20. Rob Thomas? No, the breast of Matchbox 20. Rob Thomas is still doing his thing. Oh, yeah. Matchbox 20 is crab sticks. Oh, right. They've ground the rest of them up for meat. Yeah, well, you name anyone else in Matchbox 20. I dare you. The, you can't. You buy them at Servo, you the, eat them. The box from Matchbox 20. Yeah. That's the other guy. Matchbox 20. What, what is Rob the match? No, Rob's Rob Thomas. He's oh, cool. the front man. Right. Uh, T. I, um, I really want to go and drink beer and not do a show anymore. So Yeah, same actually. We're going to end this. Yeah. Please, please. I'm not going to say like the Facebook page. If you do, that's great. Please, please subscribe to our YouTube please, channel. And please understand, when we say like, women like the video. Down there, there's a button on YouTube that says like. Click it. Click that. Then go up here. Click the subscribe button. And if then, you don't have a YouTube account, make one. It's 2017. What are you doing with your life? Mm -hmm. Throw up one of these ones. Ah! That's a YouTube arm. Like, subscribe, enjoy our TV show. Leave a comment below. Um, I, we didn't do a trick request again this week because no one's telling me what to do. We don't skate. Leave me a trick request. Not you? this week. We do skate, but not this week yeah. because you didn't do it. Yeah. I fell in a river, but you already saw that. Yeah. Odie doesn't have a skateboard right now. No, it's in a river. By the rivers of Babylon. 
Oi, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I won't wear pants the next episode. I feel like they're not. No, no. If you don't subscribe, I will wear pants the next episode. Ha yeah. <laughs> ha. Oh yeah, um, also, the Western Derby's on, Derby, Jersey, Guernsey, Jumper. The fucking footy, mate. The footy's on tonight, so we gotta go because we'd love to sit around all day and talk to you guys. Yeah. But we got things to do. Check out Darcy Fox, Nick Casolini, Nick Casolini, Nick Casolini, Delicious Casolini, pasta. Delicious Pasta Man, eats a lot. Check him out, check his band out, he's my friend. If you don't believe me, then Rochambeau. <laughs> Whoa! You didn't even... No, I just... That was a draw. Yeah. That's it. We're never going to rematch. That's it. That's the end. We're the two best friends that anyone could have. All right. Catch you later. Peace out, Rip and Tims. I'm Doyle. Ah! I'm OD. Rip and scale. Sick and Tims. Play and tunes. Who dares wins? Coming out of the basement of your stepmom's house. It's the greatest show ever made by us